Miami that time? Mm -hmm. Remember that? <laughs> right. We were sitting at that table. I was so embarrassed. I was like, wait a minute. I got money down here. Don't yeah, that, that always said, like, if you go out of town and don't tell your bank, oh, they will, um, fraud alert, fraud alert. What's going on, YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikel. We are back with a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed your Martin Luther King uh, day off uh, yesterday. If you didn't do nothing, fine. If you did service, that's even better. Um, please make sure y'all start this video off by clicking the thumbs up button, which is the like button. Everyone, please uh, like this video, share this video to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or wherever you choose to share the video. If you post on Instagram, please tag me in the post. Um, if you did not listen to the Scorpion Show podcast from this past weekend, please make sure you listen to it. You can download it on um, iTunes or on um, Spotify, or you can download our home app. The app that we are on is called Podbean. The link will be inside the more info box. Like if you don't want to download stuff, but you just want to listen to it from your computer, you can go to podbean.com forward slash the Scorpion Show and all of our podcasts will be there for you to just play and you can listen to. Um, and I want to thank Tiani Spears for coming on our podcast. He was our first ever guest Wonderful. on the podcast. And of the new decade. Yes. And we talked about uh, <coughs> the stuff going on with uh, Odell Beckham. Um, we talked about um, oh my god, my mind is going blank. It's about football. It was like Football people uh, that we discussed on the um, on the podcast, but check it out, the Scorpion Show podcast. And I want to thank everyone who you know was is listening to it. You know, I've been posting like video previews and stuff like that because I'm trying to get everyone to listen to our podcast. And I want you all to start telling people to listen to our podcast. So please make sure. That you listen to the Scorpion Show podcast because if you don't see a video up on Friday, that means it's a, a, a podcast. It's a podcast, up. but we do podcasts <clears throat> every Friday. Every podcast is uploaded before six a.m. So when you're taking your drive or whatever you like to do or however you like listen to the podcast, our podcast will be there. So make sure you set a reminder in your phone to listen to us. So we got a lot of stuff going on over the weekend. Power. Listen, we ain't doing the whole power thing because I'm not <coughs> feeling how that everyone is getting their own episodes and stuff like that. But I want to say this episode with Tommy was one of the best episodes since like episode seven mm. from last year. It was really good. I was into it. I missed two episodes because I missed, missed this Sunday. And I, I, Dre's yeah. own episode was two Sundays ago, wasn't it? Three. Two Sundays, Two Sundays yeah, ago. So it and then um, yeah. um, Laura, and Laura, Angela Valdez, this was last week. Yeah, and then Tommy's. Then this was Tommy's. <coughs> but <coughs> this <coughs> one, I mean, every like everything made sense. Because remember when they were shooting, we were like, well, where the fuck Tommy go? <laughs> you know? Like, it all made sense. And they wrapped this up. Like, they wrapped, I think they wrapping up all the, the supporting character roles. And they wrapped this one up really, really nice. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And I will, this is the episode that I will watch again. If mm -hmm. nothing else more, or if I just want to watch it again, bitch, I will just watch it again. Because it was that good. And I'm going to say that the lawyer's daughter, it's like she's smarter than all the detectives. She was able to piece together so much more than what the uh, the detectives at the uh, DA's office is able to do. Or what is the, um, the um, prosecutors? Prosecutors, yeah. She's doing a better job than them. She did a better job than all of them. It was just really, really good. Now, someone leaked who shot Ghost. They, uh, they leaked the video. I don't know. 50 Cent probably did it. Because yeah, he, he made a cryptic post on Instagram the other day about how Pop, I'm not Power, Stars is going at him all crazy and he's ready to leak something. Did you see that? I don't know. I don't follow him. So I don't follow him either, child. I see his stuff on the shade room. They follow him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, keep yeah. talking because I'm yeah, seeing it, was back a it was a random <clears throat> Twitter account that posted the video of Tariq shooting ghosts, and then Tasha had happened to run in while right, like right after As he was shot. Him. Yeah, right. so it was real, real. Like Tommy, Tommy knows who shot ghosts because you know it, it was on the episode. But it's just like wow. Okay, 
So I don't know how many alternate endings they did or who else could have shot ghosts. But I mean, it is what it is at this point. Um, I just want to see the rest of it and how this, how. I don't know that number. Oh, yes, I do. I want to see how power ends. But this week, they definitely got me back in. I was like, okay, now. Um, I want to see what's going on with Can Councilman Tate and all of that stuff. Okay. Like, it was really, really good. So, here it is. He posted, these people at Stars bugging out, talking to me like they're crazy, like I ain't like I ain't who I am. They got me fucked up. I will put all this shit out tonight. Um, you do this. Somebody posted, you do this every year. He said, no, you shut up. This is how I want it to go. It's already leaked. He said, I wonder where that came from mm. with the smiley face. Yeah. Well, it's stupid because... If he's going to get into it with this cable mm -hmm. company, like, don't mess up your future. So, I don't know if he's trying companies. to say that he leaked it when he said, I don't know where this came from, or is he trying to say that stars leaked it? I don't I don't know who leaked it, yeah. but it's now you got to have, you got to have an alternate ending or something, because I just think so. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else, but then again, the way it was with Tommy, like, when, I mean, when Ghost, before Ghost died, I had to say this. But before when goes down, he was like, um, "Let it go, let it go. Don't worry about it. Let it go." How many other people can shoot ghosts where it is? Let it go, let it go. It's not that many people, so I guess they're going just to reach shot ghosts. And I guess we're gonna find out what all led up to it happening. Shit, we know now. Let, let's let us find out how it happened. Don't change the ending. I want to see it all. You well, know, we know how Tariq feels about his father. Yeah, I don't. It sounded like somebody screamed. Somebody did. But I couldn't hear what they said because you were still talking. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're right. I mean, this is Kevin's house. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> Arguments, screaming, fighting, so, dogs barking, cats jumping on people. Yeah, I, no, we don't, we don't have cats, but we... <laughs> oh, no more. Yeah. Yeah, no more. I'm going I'm to get a cat. No, get a cat. you don't need a cat. I'm get a cat done. I like, I like, you know, I like cats well, better than dogs. Get a cat. Cats... Cats cat don't here, meow so they don't or like they, they only meow when they want something. They don't be outside getting pregnant. Right. <laughs> oh no, this, this, this cat ain't going outside. Yeah. When we get a new one. Um, I was gonna say. Um, so yeah, that was that was power. It was really really good. The housewives this week not really worth going over. <laughs> right. I saw it. It was it was a definitely a filler episode. Yeah. It was it was funny. Uh. I didn't. I didn't understand the hype around the wig situation. Yeah. Like, okay, Kenya, if you, I think it was you know to get us to right. watch next week. But then Kenya, it's like she tries to. She does play off this. Oh, I got a lot of hair, which she does. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can have all that hair and you can still wear wigs. Yeah, because my sister has a whole bunch of hair on her hair, mm -hmm. and occasionally she'll have extensions, and I'll just be like. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Your hair is long, if not longer than extensions that you're putting in. I don't, but you know, females have this of why they do it, you know, to protect their hair or whatever when they're going this place or that place. It's just, I don't know. Right. I, I don't know what it is, but you know what? I seen a post on Twitter this weekend and it was saying women spend <clears throat> 100 to $200 on their hair. Why do men have a problem with spending fifty dollars for their haircuts or whatever? And they showed the guy getting his haircut, and mm -hmm. then they was um, basically like giving him a facial and all of that stuff. I said, "Listen, all of that is fine, mm -hmm. but this this is my thing. First of all, I grew up when haircuts was maybe like five to seven dollars, but nobody um, is cutting hair. Yeah, for nobody. And if you are cutting hair for ten dollars, uh, you're yeah. not walking away with a good hair. All right, but listen, I, I understand that. So you know. The, the value, first of all, barbershops, the right. places get rent, right. renting a chair, right. then getting good ass clippers and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. I understand that. So I don't mind paying $20, $25 for a haircut. I'm not paying $50 for a haircut. And here's the reason why. Women spend 100 to $200 on hairstyles because they keep those hairstyles in for, months. for, for weeks, months, yeah. or however long they choose to keep it. Right. With men... We start woofing after four days. Mm -hmm. I can shave my hair. My hair go back in four days. So why am I spending all of that weekly just for my hair just to grow right back right away? It doesn't make sense to me. This barber here in Philly, he charges up. He charges over fifty dollars up. I think fifties is is the cheapest, and he's like uh, 
he's one of the he top celebrity no, it's, I mean, well, Big Bill gets his hair cut from him, but he's just mm-hmm. a regular guy, you know, but he charges a whole bunch. And his whole thing is, I got bills to pay too. Yeah, <laughs> we got bills. Yeah, everybody got bills to pay. But you know what though? You have a right to go to whatever barber you, you want to go. You absolutely do. And you know what? I agree with you with the whole 50, 60. I and agree. Mind you, doing every two weeks a week. Yeah. Come yeah. on. I agree totally with you. However, as Judge Million says, and I agree with her 100%, mm-hmm. this is America. And you can charge people whatever you want to charge them. It is up to them if they're going to spend it. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so if people spend $75 for a haircut, then that's on you. <laughs> and guess what? He got a huge clientele a huge clientele and like i said he has cut as is this a picture of him yeah this is actually him cutting meek mill haircut doing his hair so you know when guys see that they instantly you know they're going to jump on that oh because you're doing a celebrity haircut you know what i mean right and then when you're doing a celebrity haircut you can charge 75 dollars mm-hmm. i'm not gonna try if i'm cutting meek mill here here why would i charge 20 dollars yeah but you know, i'll tell you one thing I won't be at that barbershop, but I mean, to those who do go, <laughs> hey, go ahead and knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself As out. As a matter of fact, give me, <laughs> let me borrow something right now. Yes. You can pay for my barbershop. But yeah, I just, I just I, I'm cheap when it comes to things like like that. Like with clothes and stuff, I can see you spend whatever. But I'm like, with me, and then I got to do this weekly, nah, nah, no. I, I just can't, I just can't do it. But shout out to those who do do it, you know. I don't. I first of all, I don't need all of that face. It don't. It don't hurt. But I feel like I have great skin. Like I'm. I'm cool. But you know. But you know, some females. Want. There are some females who feel the same way about how you feel about other females. Mm-hmm. Why do y'all spend all that money for them hairstyles? Right. And usually, those females are like the natural females. Yes. You know. But you know what else though is sometimes the women. No, I'm not gonna go there because I don't want no women to be offended. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, just make say sure that your head. children, are, to make sure your children take care of before you get them the hairstyles. I'll say it like that. Oh, okay. But see, that, that's not a lot. That's not a lot of people do it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I ain't got no children, so I ain't got to worry about all of that. But well, you remind you that all the time when you. Oh yeah. How many kids you got? Yeah. None. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't say. Well, I care. You know, I can say whatever I want to say. Well, you can say it, but yeah. it doesn't mean they won't listen. <laughs> no, you're right. And they never do. <laughs> <laughs> so Alicia Keys. Swiss Beast today released that Alicia Keys is coming. Oh, wait, speaking of um, Real Housewives, Nene, because I was watching uh, Wendy Williams this morning and Jerry O'Connell was on her show, she failed to mention that his show didn't get picked up. But he's coming out with a new show. He, 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 wait, the show that he was pitching didn't get picked up, so right. now he's coming out with another show. He's coming out on a new show, like oh. like on like a nighttime show. Not a, not, not a night show, but he's going to be on a show that's coming on like. Pex or WGN, one of those networks. I can't see me watching him on his own show. He's goofy. You feel it? Hello, you took the work out of my fucking mouth. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. Elizabeth Warren to me. She's goofy when she walked out on that stage. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so, Wendy was interviewing him, and then, you know, Wendy, for some reason, like, bitch, you interviewing Jerry O'Connell. How do you end up saying, oh, my God, I went to, to the bathroom and I looked at my phone and I don't get, I normally don't get text messages and I got a text message from Nene and it says that she's quitting the show. And she said all this. Yeah, she said all of that. And then they started talking about everything. And then she was like, I don't want Nene to quit. Nene, I'm Wendy up there crying. I don't want her to quit because she has a secret that she has to tell. And it's going to melt everyone's heart. She told me when she told me I instantly started crying. Like, I'm just like, Wendy, you are doing way too much. And I'm saying, drinking my coffee like this. And you going to tell them. She's like, no, I'll tell Jerry. I'll tell you at commercial. Ah, yeah. If I told you something, why would you just go tell somebody? Maybe else? I should my best watching. But you know what? The reason why. I don't watch Wendy Williams is because she 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 reports news in in fantasy lands. Yeah. Like some stuff you be knowing is not true. <laughs> some stuff you be like, why are you like one day she's she likes Beyonce, the next day she does she throwing shade, right. and I don't like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, well, at least you know where she stands. <laughs> I don't know where she stands. Because she's throwing <laughs> shade one way people, and liking her another day. Can you I don't imagine, know where she stands. Can you imagine if Beyonce sent Wendy Williams one of those orange boxes? And it was empty. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Wendy wouldn't be ready because I wouldn't be ready. And she's sitting there recording the video. <laughs> and it's it. <laughs> Did you see what Beyonce said? Uh, fair? No, she said fair one. Oh, no, bitch, don't do it. Y'all are trying fair she did. So, why are you find that? <laughs> oh, it's not far fine. <laughs> in case you, in case you never got to look at the answer. 
<laughs> Let me see that. Bitch. She trying it. <laughs> I'm over y'all. <laughs> Poor Farrah. Because I know she ain't get an orange box. Hell no, they don't even acknowledge her as a member of the group. And I think somebody asked Matthew recently, will he include Vera in summer? He said, well, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, she was only there for five months. Why she said that she was gone. Oh, <laughs> the keys down here. Mabu, the keys. Come on, why would he ask for keys while we recorded? <laughs> he didn't ask for keys. He asked for the keys. Why would he ask for that in the first place? Yeah. Trying to get his voice mm -hmm. on the video. I know how they do mm -hmm. in my house. And yeah. <laughs> so I'm bored now. <laughs> so Wendy said that it's not true. I mean, well, Nene. Nene talking about some who said that, and you know they saying like, oh, uh, Nene was uh, probably just venting and she was upset in the moment. But you don't text that to somebody like Wendy Williams <laughs> while wow, she's on air. Right. Wow. But my thing is, but why would Wendy lie and say that Nene said that if yeah, she didn't say it? She did say it, cause yeah, Wendy ain't stupid. Yeah, and Wendy, Wendy. know. Um, what is that coffee? Wendy know, like if you're gonna text me during the show, like yeah. a lot of people do, she's gonna talk about it, and she's right. gonna, she's gonna say like y'all y'all got until eleven o'clock to let me know, and I'll let everybody else know. It's funny that you said that because I remember when I went to the View a few years back. Mm -hmm. That particular episode, we were they were talking about. It, but this is when it was uh, Whoopi, Sherry, Joy, Elizabeth, and I was so upset because Barbara wasn't there that day. <laughs> and because I, I really wanted to see the legendary Barbara, Barbara Walters Walker. in person, right. <laughs> but I got to see the legendary Whoopi Goldberg. Right. But anyway, and I got to ask a question during the uh, commercial. And Sherry Shepard came and gave me a hug. And my friend who I was with, he got to ask a question too. Whoopi Goldberg made a weird, weird face at him too, because <laughs> of what he said his name was. Uh, but anyway. So, I remember they were talking about Justin Bieber, and I remember during a commercial break, Elizabeth was like, she was going to text Justin to ask him something, to confirm something, and she texted him whatever, but he never texted back. <laughs> so, but it's like, when you have these celebrity friends, um, kind, of, kind of like us, we can get confirmation for certain things, and some things they will tell us, and they will tell us, Either they'll say this is off the record, or don't say anything. It's between us. Or right. sometimes they'll say we can let y'all, we can let the audience know. I feel like as as much as I'm not a big fan of Wendy Williams, I feel like I don't believe Wendy Williams would reveal something like this in a, pri a private text message if one Nene didn't say it, and if two Nene didn't give her the okay to say it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because again, you and I both know when these celebrities are talking to people like us, like Wendy, they will let us know this is between me and you, this is off the record, if they want, you know what I mean? Not only that, Nene, you know that I'm on air live right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why are you texting me? Because <laughs> you want me to say something on air. <laughs> yeah. So I do believe Nene said that. Yeah. <laughs> I believe she said it. And, 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 and this is just causing good good drama for the show. Right. And Wendy's like, no girl, you can't quit because you got this story right. and you need this platform and like, child. Right. It's uh, It was said and this is just a way to keep the, the momentum and, and hype more money, going up. But you and, know what? Yeah. They're not really highlighting Nene because Nene wasn't on this week's episode. No, she like, wasn't. It's kind of like they writing her off, but I'm like, I'm I don't think they're writing her off. I don't just feel like they're writing her either. off. I just feel like Excuse me, because of the situation that happened last year and they didn't include yeah. her in the first few episodes of this season, it's kind of like she's jumping in where well, she can fit in because the season had... Well, you know, Kenya's back, <laughs> starting her mess, and Nene is now just coming back to these episodes. So it's like she's trying to get in where she fits in, but the drama is already going on. Yeah. It's already started because stuff has been happening, you know, before Nene came back to the show um, this season. But I, don't, I definitely don't think Nene's going anywhere. I would like to see more drama between her and Kenya. Because <laughs> mm, yeah, uh, we're going to see that in uh, Greece. Yeah. But I'm just Why saying. Why we got way all the way to Greece? Because then that's yeah. going to be like around March. And then it'll be like the last two episodes. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so, since we're talking about Beyonce, Beyonce released her new Ivy Park Adidas line. And I mean. People lined up in stores. They lined up online. Worldwide. In the rain. In, in the, the rain. snow. Listen. <laughs> yes. For some, you know, Beyonce, Ivy Park. And it was a sellout. Hmm. 
And I mean, everybody got it except for me. I seen people getting orange boxes, bitch. I'm surprised Mikel didn't get a box. <laughs> it didn't even have to be an orange <laughs> container. It could have been a box. box. <laughs> How you doing? You know, <laughs> thank you for your fuck about that. <laughs> it could have been a fucking shoebox. I'm looking at all these assets and all celebrities. <laughs> No, it could have been an empty shoebox. As long as I had a note that said thank you. Thank you, right. I'm like, okay. You know, but no. I just, I, I like seeing the videos. Mm -hmm. I've seen Reese Witherspoon. i just seen Megan Thee Stallion. I've seen Kelly Rowlands, Michelle Williams. Um, Yara Shahidi. I've seen a lot of people. Janelle Monet. Yeah. I saw hers. I, I didn't see hers. I, I didn't know what she did. Janelle Monet was one of the first. Because uh, Janelle Monet was... Uh, she was rocking like the big parachute the thing that um Beyonce, it was that Beyonce has. Um, Miss Tina uh, was rocking she her. She got a box line. too. Well, I mean that's Beyonce's mother. She, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yvette had showed, had made a video with her and her box. Like everybody, it was just really nice. Great promo. Right. Yes, it is. What it was was I'm not going to promote. I'm going to have those of you who are getting a box promote this for me. That's right. And record it and post it online. That's, that's going to be what they did. Come, I right. mean, come the fuck on, be when it comes to promotion. <laughs> right. It, it was a great promotion. promotional tactic. And she, what, I, what it reminded me of, it reminded me of Beyonce via 2006, around the last era when she was promoting her shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would love, I would love for her to be that girl to do, because it's good to have. Some good TV interview clips mm. too, because I mean, she hasn't really done an interview in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I used to like those shows that VH1 used to do, where they do like the evolution of a person, mm -hmm. and you see like what they do. Like, I, then we just got stage clips. I mean, that's true, mm -hmm. but I want to see some interview stuff, and I want to just, you know, conversations and just see how you evolve five mm -hmm. years from that. So I think it would be good for her to start doing some interview, some instead of just answering magazine questions and stuff like that. I want to see Beyonce, I want to hear her talk and talk mm -hmm. about her proper girl. It's been 20 years since you've been in the industry. You can say what you want by now. It's nothing mm -hmm. bad will happen to right. your career. Right. Um, but I'm just happy for her with this clothing line thing. I didn't know. No, I knew that it was unisex. But I thought that these different styles were just for women. Well, see, I right didn't now, even realize just, in the beginning that it was unisex. I thought it was just for women because it was just all women promoting it. Right. So I didn't realize it was unisex until I saw some men on social media posting pictures with them in the jumpsuits and they, and I was like, oh, this is unisex or are you just wearing women's clothes? Yeah. Cause <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking they unisex. Cause I was just like, I don't see no men, no celebrity men getting no boxes. It's just all celebrity women getting boxes. I think I think the next thing that I'm gonna be looking for for Ivy Park is something that's just exclusive. To where it's only like maybe 2,000 of these made. Because I know when Pride Weekend comes, everybody is going to have that one worth Kevin. Why wouldn't it? 2,000 made. That 2,000 items made doesn't even fill up Wells Fargo. It'd be gone just like that. But that's <laughs> how it's supposed to be. It's exclusive to. to well, if she makes only 2,000, I better get a fucking box. <laughs> Okay, I've been doing this. Been, for, I've been doing this way longer yeah, than 2008. Yeah, I mean, I've been on this show for for 12 years. Right. Shouting this woman's name to the rooftops. Okay. <laughs> you ain't gonna. I bet. And I can get a damn box. You kidding me? You know. I ain't feel no kind of way. <laughs> Woo! I mean, just a little. <laughs> Mikel probably got a box at home. We just don't know. But I still love her. You know, I still love her. You know, I'll be at the, the next show. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, we know that's coming, right? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. No, I'm sure, I'm sure a tour is coming somewhere. Cause I will be there. there. <laughs> right. But I'm just saying. <laughs> you know? Right. Damn, can I? Well, maybe you can give me a box to the show. Yeah. And, and Beyonce <laughs> also said, what you say? Maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe you'll throw it to me like she threw me that towel. <laughs> and Beyonce also so, um, so has a new publishing deal with uh, Sony. This is it, Sony ATV. Um, she was with Warner Music Group, and then when he, the head of that group left, Beyonce followed him along, right on back to Sony. So I'm assuming that whoever John Platt is, he knows what he's doing when it comes to publishing deals. And for stuff Beyonce like that. to follow him, yes, it means that he's just doing what he's supposed to be doing. Yes. So you know she's back with Sony, and they'll be publishing all of her music, all of her hits that she started with Destiny Child and beyond. So, you know, you know, good good for them on her new uh, publishing deal. And someone who don't have a publishing deal, it, who backed out of a deal, is Oprah Winfrey. 
She backed out the movie deal about Russell Simmons. The documentary. The documentary. About his, his accusers. Yeah. yeah. And um, the, the thing is that I was hearing is that Oprah didn't like how the way this was turning out, like these stories. So Oprah backed out of this documentary. But the documentary still is going to be released. Yeah, it's still going to be released. But because Oprah name is not on it, it won't be released to Apple TV. So, or Apple Plus. So I don't know what they're going to do with it, but Oprah is saying that she cannot be silenced by Russell Simmons or anybody else that's like him. She's going to continue to tell these stories. And I understand where people are coming from, but I don't just think that Oprah's like, oh, I'm going to take down every black man <coughs> or, or every black man who's been in power. I really just don't believe in that. But well, I don't think that that's what she's saying, but it does look like you some people may do some <clears throat> stuff where they're not even thinking that would you know they might never even, even be thinking about it but from the outside people are looking at it as well every time we turn around this is what you're doing mm -hmm. you know what i mean um i thought it was kind of i thought it was kind of suspect that she said that she was backing down from it because of the fact that she just some of the stuff that she was hearing from the particular woman in this case some stuff wasn't adding up and i'm thinking to myself but if that's the case, why you, you slap why, your name on it? Yeah, why you slap your name on it? And why'd you wait until the, the, the ninth hour? Because this documentary is actually supposed to premiere later on this month. Mm -hmm. So why would you wait until the ninth hour to decide, oh, I'm going to back out of it? No, because you started getting a lot of pressure from Russell Simmons and from a lot of people who support Russell Simmons. You know what I mean? Or not even just support Russell Simmons, but just support the fact that they feel like you are just coming down on a black man when you have people like Harvey Weinstein who and Jeffrey friend. who was her friend and mm -hmm. she's all cozy and hugged up with him mm -hmm. and people like Jeffrey Epstein as well that you have not mentioned and you, you're not doing it but then I heard that they are doing something yeah uh, well, that's lifetime yeah lifetime surviving yeah. oh yeah surviving yeah, yeah that is lifetime yeah. but yeah I just think that it's kind of weird that now all of a sudden she's backing down but hey mm -hmm. yeah. now that I think so like smoke detector going on. I was just waiting for our smoke alarm to go off. Cause I said, "Oh, all right, here, here, go." That's just outside. Okay. Um, I hear it, but it just seems like it's downstairs. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm glad it ain't in here because you know they, they, you know, sometimes they wake me up with the smoke alarm and I don't know the, in the morning. They don't know what they be doing. Like, you know, turn the fan on, or you could when I open the back door or something. So that way, if you open the back door, it's all this cold air coming. In. It's not gonna go off. But you know what? Too when there's a lot of built up grease. On the stove, a lot of stuff burns faster. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it goes on. Yeah, so they have to wipe the stove down when they finish cooking. They're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, <clear. laughs> so, uh, Bad Boys 3 came out with the Bad Boys for Life. I didn't see the movie, but it made over $100 million. Mm. I think that's, you know, $100 million worldwide. And they made $68 million domestically. That's what they're saying. I haven't seen the official number. But they, that movie is doing really good. And me. I haven't heard anything bad. Either. Yeah, I haven't seen not one bad review. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen not one person say it's trash. Right. Now, y'all know me, as I tweeted the other day. I have never watched any of the bad movies. Okay? I've seen clips. And I think the main clip I've seen, and I, you know, I always catch it on this time when it's on TV. I know that Gabrielle Union was one. Was you one talking about Gabrielle Union? I know she was a sister in the movie. Yeah, yeah that's the second and one. Then, the first yeah, one is the classic. When the boy comes oh, over second. to dinner, I mean, or comes over to take his daughter on a date. I've always seen it at that part. I never was sat there and said, "Let me watch Bad Boys." I just didn't. I just was. First of all, the it. first Bad Boys is. Classic, and, I never and to it. think that that was when Will Smith and Martin Lawrence at that time they, the first one came up, they had big TV shows going on because that was in '95. That's when Martin Fresh Prince was big on TV, right? And to get those two big actors and then to spit off I, I, Bad Boys 2 is not my favorite. It's I like Bad Boys 1. I'll watch Bad Boys 1 a billion and three times. Mm -hmm. I just like the first one. I want to see the second one. I haven't seen it yet. Wait, why does it say mm -hmm. Bad Boys 4? Because they, 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 um, they're going to be really oh, yeah. Them. Y'all gonna say they don't have for bad boys. Yeah, they are. They made it seem like, all right, y'all, this is the last one. But because but of the why? success. Yeah, why would that be? And everything, the same screenwriter that they used what's, for what's this What's these white movies that they keep doing over and over again? Fast Harry Potter. Furious. Yeah, Fast and the Furious, Harry Potter. <laughs> they keep doing them, keep doing bad boys. <laughs> 
Why not? Harry Potter is done. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But they had Twilight and all them girls. KJ right. Rowland don't need another dime. JK yeah, JK like, Rowland, like, KJ Rowland. <laughs> whatever. She doesn't need another dime. And to think that Aaron Hernandez was in jail talking about he wants somebody to send him a Harry Potter book. Right, right. Well, they need something that's going to imagination. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not thinking about no Harry Potter, but some, sometimes books take they people on an adventure. They should send them You know what? You are trying. Don't do that. <laughs> We've been talking about Aaron Hernandez on the podcast this week. Oh, now, I'm trying to give you a little bit. <laughs> trying to give you a little bit, but we want to talk about it, talk about it. <laughs> Cause now you know people ref ref refuting things, <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like lies. <laughs> Cause everything I heard about Miss Hernandez, okay. Cause I know some men like it. Ms. Yeah, cause the way I'll say this: the way he's talking about the men there, that is basically a defense mechanism. Yeah, hello. Like, I posted that. Oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, that. I posted that, and some some. Some pe some females. Oh, they got bad. They, some that. females got like, oh well, no, because I think you know what I don't like is when people try to blame pe people like Aaron Hernandez try to blame it on oh well he was molested. First of all, can I, can I, can I, first of all, can I just be honest with you? And I'm not taking nothing away from nobody, but how do we know he was molested? Because his brother said that he told him that. That could have been his way of trying to cop out from admitting that he liked the men. It brings sense to a lot. Of, it, do it does to happen, but it does happen to a lot of people. But the way Aaron Hernandez was, and the way he, I just feel like some men like him, they will use a cop out mechanism to justify why they are the way they are. If I say that I was molested, then this will give me a little leeway of why I am the way I am. I mean, look what he decided to do. I'm going to kill myself, and then this way I kill myself, and then y'all will get all this money, and then I'll be found, um, all the charges will be dropped against me. Clearly, he had a... Uh, yeah, I think it, prob it probably had something to do with the, the rumor about to come out. That that's why he did it. I, I don't know. Um, I just, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like these prison guards need to be doing yeah, a better job. They just celebrities that's behind bars. They do. I'm just one of those people. I don't eat everything that somebody puts in front of them. Mm -hmm. So that whole his brother saying that oh he told him that when they were playing hide and seek and he got molested. I'm just like, yeah, that's what he told you. It may have happened. It may not have happened. But I think that with somebody, some people say certain things just so it will look like I'm this way because of that because of that happening. But then you got a lot of people. A lot of females too, and a lot of straight men who think, "Oh, you gay, so you must have been molested when you were younger." Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> no, ignorance. yes, that's ignorance, right? No, that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> and then there's some people who were molested when they were younger and don't grow up to like men or become say, predators, or like, become predators. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I didn't really buy what Aaron Hernandez's brother was selling when he said, "Oh, my brother told me that he was molested when he was younger." I didn't really buy that. I just didn't. I, I, I just thought but maybe the way he was talking know. about gays and transsexuals in the jail and yet you are secretly messing around with men and you're not and you're messing around with these men. You It's it's, it's dated all the way back to when you were in high school, when you had certain people in high school saying y'all used to mess around and this, that, and the third. I'm just like, yeah, you the way you're talking about them on this phone call, it's kind of like straight men that I know, they don't give two shits about you being gay. Mm -hmm. We friends. You do you. I do me. We're going to sit down and have a conversation. I don't give a fuck about you being gay. I don't understand get straight men like Aaron Hernandez who feel like they have to have to down gays or have to down tra transsexuals every chance you get. And, and me, in the past maybe two, three years, I've come to realize that 90% of the guys that I have been around that have talk bad about transsexuals, I've come to find out they were secretly messing with them. Mm -hmm. And again, like you said, that's a defense mechanism. I don't let nobody know that I'm messing with them, so I'm going to talk bad about them. But you're just bringing more attention to yourself by doing that. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know why any straight guy would even be remotely concerned about what a gay or a transsexual is doing. What do you care? They're not doing nothing with you. Mm -hmm. I'm, call me crazy. That's just how I look at it. You know, that's true. I, that's just how I look at it. And and ladies, I feel like if you out there dating a man and every time you turn around, he got something to say about gays, you better watch him. <laughs> watch him. <laughs> I, let me tell you something. I've been doing this for a long time. Watch him. <laughs> I'm doing which one. <laughs> I know. Just like I can't tell a female about female 
organs and female getting birth. You can't tell me a motherfucking thing when it comes to shit like this. And that's why I was telling these females in my comments. You know, you can't tell me. <laughs> I'm talking. I don't know what you don't tell me. <laughs> you know how I many husbands and baby dads I know. <laughs> it's uh let me just say it's a mess out there. Okay. You know, it's it's really And it's getting and you it yeah, like y'all think it's a no, joke when you say you would be surprised. You, I don't care how many kids you have. Yes, right. Kevin, let me okay. tell you something. <laughs> and the way and, 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 and I'm gonna be very honest with you. The way these trans women are looking nowadays, especially the women who the trans women who are really, really into keeping themselves up, a lot of these trans women are looking ten times better than a birth woman. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, <laughs> you can't be surprised that a man is looking at that like, damn. And then well, getting the track. You, you yeah, understand what I'm saying? I, I understand that track. I think that track is going to come first because you already have the appearance of, of, of a female, of female. before yes. they know that you're trans. But then so once they know that you're trans, then they still some are. Some still don't care, yeah. and some just no. be like, I, I think, but look, we're going to talk about this <laughs> on the podcast because I seen a story where somebody tweeted like, I don't have to tell you I'm trans. And I say, y'all hear my opinion on the podcast this Friday. It's a lot. We got a lot to talk about. Plus, the stories on top of that and the, um, the topic questions that we had. Like, oh my God, it's going to be good. Make sure y'all listen on Friday at 6 a.m. or whenever you get a chance to get around to it. Um, oh my God, that was... What? No, because, <laughs> like, seriously, though, yeah. like, when you... I, I I'm trying to think of the right way to say it because when you are, when you are secure in who you are, yeah, you don't ever have to put down anybody. You don't. And those that are not secure in who they are, it's because they're fighting something. I really believe it's because they're fighting something mm -hmm. inside, and that's what makes them get that way. Mm -hmm. Because y'all ain't never seen me mad about whatever what a straight person did, right? Or, or a lot of people. We don't worry about that. It's a tough life to just be black and to be gay. Right. And you think that we bust about to talk about us all the time. Like, come on. Like, there's something, there's something wrong with you. That you you can't stand to see someone be happy or be themselves and be free. Because you can't be yourself and be happy. I'm telling you, ladies, when you sit around your nigga and he start talking all that, you gotta, I, I want you to do this. The minute he start doing all that, yeah, that man, you look at him just like that. Why are you so concerned? <laughs> No, what you mean? I ain't concerned. I'm just saying, no, why are you so concerned? <laughs> you got something to tell me? Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, so, I got these. Mm -hmm. We did all that. Delonte Wade. And Pete, oh, uh, yeah, we could, do, we could do a leech from Pete. What the fuck was wrong with that? A leech from Pete. I'm sitting with Shakeez over Oh, no. She has a new album coming out on March 20th. She has a book coming out March 29th. The book is called... Oh, Kevin. Shit, I forgot that fast. I can't believe you don't write that stuff down. More Myself. I do write... I write a lot of stuff. I put the book. It's called More Myself. That comes out March 29th. And you she's going on... Book? Huh? You put the book? No, it comes out March 29th. And I said, oh, you didn't buy the book. Uh-uh. Oh. It comes out in March. I don't think I'm going reading too much. And then... Um, I don't think you read too much now. I don't. <laughs> I kind of figured that. And, I, and she's going, she has a world tour. Now, for some reason, I think it's starting out overseas. In what world? I don't, listen, in the United States and in, 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 in the UK, is in Europe. It's going to be all she's over Europe. She's playing small food venues. I, I, that's right. what I'm assuming. Yeah, she I'm thinking she's read, trying to see, like, all right, what my record sale is going to look like. Right. And then this, to see right. if I can do this arena, not arena, yeah, arena, or should I do smaller venues? Like more like the Met. Mm -hmm. Should I do the Met or should I go to Wells Fargo? No. You know, go to the Met. It, yeah, I wouldn't mind saying at the Met. It's a lot of things popping at the Met. Like they got a lot of shows. And the bathrooms too. Oh, well, I don't know about that. But um, they stopped that. You know, they didn't stop that. Met just opened up, and I heard a few things. I haven't heard nothing bad. <laughs> You're trying the Met. I seen that they out the fifth outside of it. Looks yeah, it really looks nice. Really nice. To think that that Met was it was abandoned. <laughs> Uh, man, this time <laughs> three years ago, that building was abandoned. Right. <laughs> well, it looked abandoned because they were having services in there. They were having services in there. Now, what kind of services they were having in there? <laughs> <Don't do that. laughs> 
Because they had church in there on Sundays. Too. Well, apparently somebody, I was arguing with somebody told me they still have them. They told me, no, they moved. No, the Holy they still have church in there on, on That's Sunday. what I told somebody recently, and I'm trying to think who I told that to. And they was like, oh, no, the Holy, cause the Holy Ghost headquarters. Mm -hmm. They was like, oh, no, they moved. They don't have church no, in there they anymore. own that building. That's what I told and them, they, Kevin. And they rented out, out to La Nation. Nation. I you think I didn't tell them that? They got a lot of money. <laughs> they didn't get that money. I get you. Who the fuck did I and tell them to? a black owner, too. I was arguing, I was going back and forth with somebody. I was like, no, the Holy Ghost headquarters, they have church. Oh, no, they don't have it in there no more. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you know what? Whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I mean, it's right there. You got um, all the nice little condos coming up so you, the girls could just come up, come down the elevator and walk to the place, wherever, you know. And you got nice restaurants coming up, Broad Street. They're really fixing Broad Street up. You know, like, um, they're really doing it. Famous gospel singer Claire Ward, her funeral was held at the Met years ago um, before it, it before was closed. The Met Met? No, oh. when it was the Met Met, before it closed down. Oh, okay. Because this was in the 70s. Oh, her funeral wow. Was there. Oh, wow. I never heard yeah, of they, that. Yeah, they, she's from Philadelphia. Big gospel singer, one of the biggest gospel singers in the world. When you watch up, you watched Amazing Grace? No, not yet. Oh, you didn't watch it. I thought you watched it. Well, anyway, she pops up Aretha Franklin, you know, gives her a shot because she, she was like, uh, she, she was like how Beyonce is to me to Aretha Franklin. Aretha mm -hmm. Franklin loved her. Like, she was a big gospel singer. Aretha Franklin and her father both sang at Claire Ward's funeral. She actually died, I think, a year after, yeah, like a year later after they did the Amazing Grace documentary. She was young. Well, so she was on four. She was on four. But she had a stroke mm -hmm. and she died from a stroke. Um, but she was a big, big gospel singer um, that came out of Philly, and uh, her funeral was at the Met when you know before it closed down. I've never heard of it. I'm, I'm like, who's who Claire? Yeah, yeah. let's learn something new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. So listen. Now I used to be a big fan of Alicia Keys. I didn't listen to that new album. Like once she stopped wearing makeup, I don't know. It turned me off a little bit. Like, child, what is going on? Like, I don't know. I like a natural woman, but I just feel like I, I wanted. Like, to, I don't know if it's authentic. It's right. just it's, uh, Alicia being authentic, and that's my true opinion. And. But I liked her hosting the Grammy Awards last year. I was like, okay. And she's hosting the Grammys again. So it's like, it's not like Alicia Keys ain't working. I didn't know she came out with a song with Miguel last year. I thought it was probably an older song. I never heard it. And she got a new video out. Mm -hmm. But it's like, Alicia Keys is not the Alicia Keys that came out in the 2000s and had that big success in the 2000s. Like, in the 10s, it was kind of like, okay... You had that new one. It's a new day and this mm -hmm. girl is on fire. And after that, mm -hmm. we that fire went out. Yeah, that fire, that fire went out, and then now you're trying to reignite it after mm -hmm. seven or so years. Like it's like child. Mm -hmm. these days, you can't be taking no breaks. You gotta, or if you gotta have a big. And if you are gonna take a break, you gotta then still you gotta be have stuff. Yeah, Cause look at Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce look at Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah, and Rihanna too. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. Beyonce and Rihanna are two prime examples. The two of them have not come out in, with music in what? Beyonce yeah, in two, two years? No, well, yeah, Beyonce, yeah, she got, The Lion King came out in July. But I'm talking about uh, album. Uh, album. <laughs> so Lemonade was the last album. Lemonade. So that was what, three years ago? Mm -hmm. Going on four. Three years ago, Rihanna, what, four years ago? Three, four years four ago? Years around that time? Anti, yeah. But yet, in between them making music, which we know them for, they've been doing, Rihanna's makeup line has blown up. Beyonce's been, she's done um, acting, she's and done Netflix, a, a, a Netflix, she's done things to keep you interested. Rihanna has done things to keep you interested. Rihanna's mans, I mean, not mans, her fans are completely upset with her because yeah. she didn't come out with her music. However, she's still doing stuff that's making her, that's keeping her out there. Alicia Keys, on the other hand, is kind of like, she's not making music and she just went dormant. Mm -hmm. Like, where the fuck is she at? Right. And you can be forgot about real fast. Real fast. Real fast. <laughs> you got to keep your name out there. And that's yeah. what Rihanna and Beyonce did. They kept themselves relevant. Not to say that they could never, they could ever, and not now, anyway, mm -hmm. be unrelevant, but they, it's or irrelevant. Years. Rather. It yeah. would take them years. Before that happens. Because yes. Beyonce's been in this game for 22 years, and she's still doing her thing. Mm -hmm. Rihanna's been in this game for, what, over a decade, and she's still doing and her thing. And she that. has a number, like, one of the number one makeup lines. Yeah. And it's... Like it's the 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 other stuff is making more money than the music these right, days. Right, right. Well, like I mean, it's, it would because the fans ain't got shit to buy from her, but right. music to buy from her, so they're gonna buy makeup. Yeah, I don't know. 
Let me tell you something. Rihanna, whoever the fuck is on her team, they were brilliant mm -hmm. with that whole makeup thing. Yeah. That was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Because women like makeup. <laughs> yeah, and they, they, they like it when it matches their skin tone. And, the, and they like it when it matches their skin tone. tone. That's right. That's right. And yeah. then you got somebody like Rihanna who's young and edgy and I don't give a fuck attitude and then you right. coming out with this makeup line. And it don't cost that much. Like, like, yeah, she is. Not just women, some men too. Yeah. You know, I thought about one day. I was like, we make up? Not makeup, but oh. like a highlighter thing. Like, I really, like, I really, really love, like, black eyeliner. I don't know you what it is. Uh, black I magic mark and do that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the real deal. Like, I, if I, I ever walk in this room and you got see, black eyeliner, I'm, I'm gonna, not going to get mad. I'm, I'm going to leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware for the Because I'm going to think that you were in here with the Holy Ghost headquarters. I don't know. I just <laughs> love it. I love it. I've never I tried this. Like, you know, like Halloween, you might, but it's like I've never tried anything like that. But I just love it. Especially, like, see a man with black eyeliner. It's oh. so decent. I want to do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do it one day. I'm you don't give me the makeup type. I know. I, I don't, because it's not my thing, but I really like I I don't know what it is like if one of like your favorite celebrities asked you to wear makeup for them nope I don't wear makeup no I'm saying I, like in, <laughs> like if y'all were behind closed doors nope for what like if no 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 makeup that's like I'm gonna see you in um women's I'm just saying if he wear <laughs> yeah something like that you ain't even got to say it <laughs> because no I don't do that shit I, I'm not I don't do that kind of stuff I don't think you would look right in women's no I don't want to no but some you know some people get a kick out of it yes and they like but I think some you. people get a kick out of it only if you got a nice body to put on women's underwear I can That's see your not, body in women's underwear you're trying <laughs> Like he has the bitch, the ultimate body. Well, and nobody has you ever asked me to put on no women beside me. I know, but I'm just saying. I don't, I don't. <laughs> no, because you know how they want the. Yeah, I know. Some of them want the. They know what they're getting into, but they still want to seem like they're doing something. Huh? Yeah, I know. And I'm just yeah, like, yeah, I heard you. <laughs> and I just be like. You know, I don't want you to wear. I just want you. No, you don't. You talk to the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this show getting so sexual? <laughs> you talking to the wrong <laughs> one. Yeah. You mean to tell me if Obama asked you to put on this? No, I don't give a fuck who it is. Let me tell you something. If Jesse Jackson asked me to put on this thing, <laughs> I would if you got a check. <laughs> I'm done with you. A fuck. No, a uh, fuck. <laughs> Speaking of a fall from grace, <laughs> Delonte West, mm. I don't know what happened. Mm. You know, I Same. remember him playing for Cleveland, uh, LeBron and them back in the day, and he played for a local, um, he just played, I believe he played for a local college team, and um, that's how I remember his name, but um, he has really, like, taken a turn for the worst. Um, I found out, uh, uh, I was doing some research a couple years ago, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and he didn't <coughs> believe he was uh, bipolar. Now, what happened in between those times to where he's homeless, or he's just living on the street, and he was attacked in the middle of the street, mm. I don't know. But mm. the video someone posted, and he was saying that he's the president, like he was not making sense. You would never think that this was someone who, who was, was a big yeah. NBA star. And you know what? That that counts for a lot of people mm -hmm. who are out here homeless. Like we don't know any of the lives mm -hmm. that, that they, they used lived. to live before they, yeah, you before right. they came. Who right. they are, yep. and, and you know, and I understand why some people might say, "Oh, well, you if you want to look out for one, you gotta look for everybody." But when it's someone you know, like when you personally know, mm -hmm. you're gonna want to get them the help to get off the streets or wherever they are, wherever they are in life. If it's, it's if it's taking a turn for the worse, you're going to be committed to trying to help that person. Just like if you've seen someone homeless that we didn't know or care about, you would do whatever you can to help that person. The crazy thing is, I didn't even know he wasn't playing for the NBA anymore. No, that's how, yeah. that's how I was so out of the loop. I thought he was still playing basketball. No, I, if I know, if I don't hear your name, like I already know you ain't playing basketball no more. Like 
I don't watch a I don't watch a lot of basketball, mm -hmm. but I watch during the playoffs. And then you you see little trending topics, uh, like oh my god, like Lakers they trend every week. Anytime they play, the Sixers play. Like the main basketball teams, you know they they'll trend, or a, a basketball player from their team will trend. Mm -hmm. That's how that's how I can keep up with who they are. And then sometimes I go look and see who they are. And I'm like, oh wait a minute, let me follow. Them. And then I just keep it moving. Have you ever seen a basketball player that you said to yourself, I would wear lace panties for? Nope, nope. Nope. Not even for LeBron nope, James? Not nobody. Cause I, what the fuck am I doing that for me? <laughs> what are you trying to start on this show? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you crazy, cause if one you have, me, you well, do it. How big is the check? <laughs> go ahead and do it. You think I won't? Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, but I just feel bad. I felt bad <laughs> seeing him like that, and then a lot of the stars. Somebody just sprayed something. That it's like an air fresh or something. It's, they must have sprayed a lot. You smell it now? Do sniff. Yeah, somebody did sniff yeah. something. Hmm. Um, yeah, so Delonte, he just, I mean, I know a lot of the stars are tweeting and stuff that they want to help him, they want to get him help, or some people, like, they didn't know he had he fell off that, like yeah. that. You know, I just want him to get the help that he needs, and, you know, maybe a few years from now, when he gets everything under control, or I don't, I don't, I don't know how far it is, like, can, you could come back, you know, what's the word I'm trying to say? If, if it's not managed, like... What do you mean? As far as his death by COVID? Like mental, like his mental status. Like mm -hmm. you gotta do. You, I don't. I don't. I have First no. Clue. Where's his family? I don't. Where's know. his money? It's probably gone. Because it's I think he has to. kids and a girlfriend. All, uh, where Where are these Alleged, people yeah. that he's laying out on the street? Mm -hmm. And you know, don't expect to hear anything from LeBron because the the rumor is, and it has to be true, that uh, Delonte slept with. Um, LeBron's, LeBron's mother, mother. Mm -hmm. like a oh, this is a long time ago. So I don't think you'll be getting a uh, a tweet or anything from him. But I do want you do you. But I mean, well, his mother was out there you, laying it low and spreading it wide. So his mother was wild and crazy, like at the games and fighting people. And remember that? Remember those days? <laughs> I was just embarrassed. Really was. You know, um, I just, I just, I just hope that he really gets help. But when that money is gone, that's how you know who your real friends are. Yeah. Are you there? But when they're there before the money and after the money, that's how. You, that's who you know who your real friends are. And that's true. He's made some money in the NBA, and I'm sure he played overseas or something like that at his NBA career. Like he he tried, but if 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 a doctor is telling you, if if a doctor tells you something and you don't believe it. I would say go to another doctor and get a second opinion. And if you don't like that doctor, go get another opinion. It's not the but if they all saying the same opinions. thing, baby. There was an episode, excuse me, of the Golden Girls like that, but it was in reverse. And I'm sure if those of y'all are a fan of Golden Girls, you know what I'm talking about. There was an episode where Dorothy was sick and she knew she was sick. And she went to that's all these so, different... That's what you smell. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. She was sick and she knew she was sick, but... Every doctor she went to was telling her they couldn't find anything wrong with her. And she kept saying, you know, but there's something wrong with me. I know there's something wrong with me. And then finally she found what a doctor that told her. And I think it was just like, he told her basically, you are, you have, you're depressed. You have like a depression. Whatever the case was, it was something along those lines. And she felt so much better because she was like, finally somebody actually is diagnosing this because I knew there was something wrong with me. But everybody else was telling me there's not. And like you said, in reverse... If doctors are telling you that there's something wrong with you and you don't believe it, it's always good to get a second or third opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, me, for instance, by the time I get that second opinion, I'm kind of like, and they telling me the same thing the first doctor said, I'm kind of like, oh, wow, because, right. you know, these doctors don't even know each other. <laughs> 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 you told me the same thing that doctor told me? Wow. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's nothing wrong with getting professional help. Like, I know a lot of people will be like, you mm -hmm. It's good to check on your friends, but you know, right. sometimes you're not always a professional. That's true. They need to go see a professional. That's true. Especially if someone tell you you were diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And remember when uh, uh, Jennifer Lewis was on our show, mm -hmm. and she was trying to erase that stigma. Mm -hmm. And I think over the years it has gotten better, but it still could go a lot further right. than what it is because we as black people are still afraid to go to the doctor. And talk about things, and without thinking that everyone thinks that we're crazy. That we're crazy, right? 
like we just we just gotta get some things under control. We're not crazy. We just gotta learn how to better manage things that goes on in our life. Like sometimes I feel like I don't feel like I'm crazy. Sometimes I just want to curse these motherfuckers out. But I just, you know, I let it go and then there could be like one time you just get full of everybody and it just come out on everybody. It shouldn't be that way. It should just be, listen, boop, boop, bam. This is how I well, feel. Well, I think that's so, totally different from, I know I that I'm that's just, crazy. I, I know that's yeah. not crazy, but sometimes stuff be building up. Like you just, you know, I'd be like, you know what, F it. I just feel bad for Delonte West that it's yeah. gotten to the point that he's now homeless. Seriously, where is your family that you are homeless? Mm -hmm. You are this former NBA star. Not an NBA player, but you were an NBA star, and you are now homeless and, the things that he and dealing with my video. I don't, and that's another thing, too. I saw a screenshot of the video, but I don't want to see it because it, it just made me sad even seeing that. And I'm just like, this is horrible. Like, this is sad. Like... I can't imagine me seeing a relative of mine out on the street like that. Yeah. I can't imagine as big as my family is and knowing that we got a relative out there like that and nobody's not doing anything to help. You see what I'm saying? Like, I just can't, I can't imagine that. 302 his ass. That, that, you can help that way as a relative. You feel like you can't do nothing, 302 him. So at least you know where he's at. At least you know that he's in a place where he's getting some help, he's being looked after, rather than allowing him to just lay out on the street. Because mm -hmm. if he's laying on the street, you don't know where the hell he's at. Yeah, and then you know how cold it is? He ain't had no shirt on, and yeah. his hand's tied behind his back. His hand was tied around behind I mean, his back. Like, uh, the cops had them in handcuffs. Oh. But what was making me mad is who was sitting there recording that video? Um, I hope it wasn't a cop. I don't know. Somebody, he was talking to the cop while he was handcuffed sitting on the curb. But he was close, whoever was courting was close to him. Yeah. Or was the cameras just zoomed in? No, the camera, he, they were up close, recording. I hope that wasn't it, a cop. It could have been a cop. It had to be a cop. I, yeah, because I can't imagine a cop arresting you and then allowing somebody to come up and do that. Yeah, because you know cops don't like when you have cameras. No. So. <laughs> and they definitely don't want you to be that close up to somebody while they have them yeah, restrained. Like, I'm about to have my little moment of clout, you know. That's what somebody said in the video? No, no, no. Oh. But I'm... No, that's why people. Oh do yeah, it. that's why they're doing it. But that that video of him, someone was stomping his head in the street. Who's? Delonte West. In the video? Because yeah, he was fighting somebody in the oh, middle yeah. of the street. This happened. This picture, somebody fighting in the middle of Broad Street, and cars still going by. But that second lane, nobody's driving that second lane because you're, you're um fighting mm -hmm. or, or or on I seventy six. Picture it. I've seen it on Broad Street. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I've Remember seen that it on time we this street. <laughs> Remember that time that car hit that, we was going into the supermarket and the car hit the other oh, yeah. and, and guess and who ran over there to find out what's going on? Okay. <laughs> and didn't get the phone number. <laughs> and ran over there running his mouth to them boys. Who? You. Trying to tell them what they should do. Or well, somebody did something. We're like, oh, that's not going to happen in court. I don't even remember. This is like maybe a year and a half ago. We never talked about that. <laughs> The way that car hit that other car, you thought, oh, you at fault, baby, you at fault. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. He told that boy he's at fault. No matter what you say, they're going to say that you're at fault. Yeah, I sure did. I told him just like that. I don't care what you have to say, you're at fault. <laughs> oh, hey, mind your business. No, you're at fault. <laughs> Kevin on the other side of the street, come on, come on. Come yeah. back over here. No, because he's at fault. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how the car thing worked, but even though he got hit from behind, if you're coming, no, he was coming into oncoming traffic. traffic yeah. He was at fault because he didn't yeah, have the right, right of way. That's that's you right. can't come into oncoming traffic because on Broad Street where he was driving at, there's no stop sign, mm -hmm. and the light was green. <laughs> so, oh, but he saw me coming. Yeah, but yeah, if he had he the was, right of way. Yeah, he was leaving out the parking lot to and go coming on into to car, on on the traffic. Street. Yes, and one car stopped to let him go, but there's another but lane. There's another lane, and the other lane, <laughs> the other in the other lane, the car kept it's going because he didn't yeah. see him. Yeah, yeah. So how is the car that in on the right fault. lane? Yeah, at fault. You were coming into his lane. You were at fault. <laughs> mm -hmm. He thought he. Oh no, but he. <laughs> but the but this car stopped for me. Okay, that don't mean that car's gonna stop for you. <laughs> you know, common sense is a motherfucker. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> so, wow. You know, I'm sure everyone has had a chance to watch A Fall from Grace on Netflix, which is Tyler Perry's new film, his first ever um, film release 
Well, um, Netflix. And listen, this was not like a Tyler Perry movie that I'm used to. This Tyler Perry movie was like a long episode of special um, SVU, Special Victims Unit, mixed with how to wait, how to get away with murder. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see the plot twist coming. No. And the plot twist to me was like definitely a, a house of horrors ripped from the headline mm -hmm. type of story. But, you know, the things that people notice, I didn't notice until after everybody started tweeting like, I didn't see the script in front of the judge. I, I know, of course, I've seen the fireflies. That was great. I didn't like the wigs, but the, the, in some scenes, like, they didn't mesh together. Oh, they found, um, they found that girl? They found Grace's wig. You're trying. <laughs> you seen that scene? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everybody, everybody, listen, everybody didn't need a wig in this film. Tyler didn't Why need a wig. Why did Makai Brooks didn't need a wig? <laughs> it was just a mess. Uh, like, I'll tell you, Felicia Rashad was laid the whole time. Who's Felicia Rashad? Not Felicia. Brisha Webb. Well, who was that? The girl that was the, the, the lawyer. Yeah, I don't Jasmine. Remember. She I I hated her character. Oh, I hate Why? Her. Because, because she, she just young. was stupid. Yeah. She was stupid. You know, Tyler yeah. Perry told her. And then on top of you know, you just you just doing them that scene just it it the scene where the judge kept telling her to sit her ass down. Right, yeah, that made that me made mad. mad. Cause it's like nobody it's does that. It it's, it's <laughs> she's doing what the Democrats are doing right now yeah. with the Republicans. Making the and they're not trying to hear it. Okay? <laughs> Everything they we'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, you know, that's what's going on. They're like, we're past that. You right. made your turn, right? And now it's our turn. Right. You know, you should have done it back when it was your turn. Yeah, because Moscow Mitch, he said <laughs> I'm going to ramrod this one. Y'all want to do what y'all did? Y'all can think y'all made a He has no facial expression at all. No. no. First of all, he can barely talk. His head falling out of his mouth. You know, when I get old, I hope my teeth made all like that. Mom, I want my words to be clear. I want my neck to look as good as this right now. I just want it's to. It's as sweaty as can be. Yeah, I know, because I put that. Uh, you know that girl that gave you that oil? I put some of that oil in my beard. Is that what that is? Yeah, because my face was looking real. So what you have to rough. do is you have to. Rub it in, yes. and then you have to wipe. I, yeah, I know, I didn't get a chance to wipe. I was like, I got to see this show. Oh, so that's oil, not sweat. It is oil. It's not sweat. You're dry. <laughs> so, yeah, like, first of all, I, I really, like, this wasn't a movie like, mm -hmm. if a different person would have made it, it would have been ten times better. However, I didn't think it was bad. Yeah, it, was, it bad. was it was a cheap cheesy movie, but it was a good cheap cheesy yeah, movie. But you know what though? Because <laughs> I found myself watching it. I was like, look at Brisha Webb. First of all, bitch, you on the scene with Cicely Tyson. Mm -hmm. You're working with Felicia Rashad. Right. Like, that's like black royalty. Like, I don't think she probably appreciated it right now. She probably do appreciate it. But I'm like, just look at that. And her acting doesn't hold up to theirs. But I don't think her acting was bad. I well, think no, I'm not. Well, not her. I just felt like the her, the whoever wrote the script. Tom 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 Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he had nerve to be in the view. Talking about I don't ever write this one because <laughs> the ratings don't go up when people write my stuff. When oh. I write my stuff, oh. the ratings is good. Oh. Tyler, <laughs> okay, stop playing. Okay, <laughs> like you need a writer's room because yeah. a lot of your stuff is like the same. Right. And if you know, it's nothing wrong with having someone. Help you. It's nothing wrong with it at all. Like Tyler, this like if I can't do it, bitch, nobody. nobody can. The wig was horrible with Tyler. Like I was trying to figure out why does he need a wig? Yeah. Why can't you just? Do and it's not the first time I seen that wig because he wore a wig and uh, good deed, not good deeds. He had a wig with. Um, he needs to fire the the styles. It was Taraji at, at, at Tyler Perry Studio. What's that movie with Taraji and um, no Alfred Woodard and. Oh my god, the store was called A Wig and a Prayer. I can't remember the name of The Family That Prays. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find out why he was wearing a wig then. Like, he all, he is known for these wigs and all these people. And they're horrible. Wigs. Yeah. Like, I don't know, but I, I really like the fall from grace. I I don't like looking at Felicia Rashad's character. Like, like, like after the scene, I'm like, that's not even really her. Like, 
Oh, but no. it was cute to it it's cute that. to see her still working. Yeah. Because for a long now I will say this. Job. I will say dead. this, yes. I will say one of the good things about Tyler Perry is that he's giving a lot of black actors who you have not seen from in a long time, he's giving them jobs again. Which is really good. Because I remember when Felicia Rashad was in um For Colored Girls, mm -hmm. when she played the neighbor for Colored Girls or whatever. Um it's That's good. When she really started getting back. Yeah, right. Stuff. And it's it's good to see, and it's good that she is wanting to work mm -hmm. because some people like her who've been working for so long, but oh no, I'm. The costume checks stopped coming after well, a while. You know shit. But she looks good too to be in her seventies yes. too. Mm -hmm. You know, Felicia is still working. <laughs> Felicia is a legend. Honor her. And she like said, you said, you got Felicia Rashad. And Cicely Tyson? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and at first I was bad because Cicely had a role. I'm like, why is she in the window? Yeah, why is she in the window? Why is she got this robe on her? And that's how she really looks without all the makeup and stuff. Because like. <laughs> remember, she's 95. Yeah, I know. But she so, moves around good for her. Yeah, she do. That you do. The fact that she's 95 mm -hmm. was running and hiding in there over. Yeah. <laughs> and carrying that thing. <laughs> what was in that thing? That stuff trying to go. But it did it I like but I like because it I had completely forgot about the house that Grace had went to that the mail was on and come to find out it was Sister Tyson's house. Yeah. Like I, it was so I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. It was a good cheesy movie. Yeah, like when that lady jumped off that roof, this yeah. is the same house that why what where was the investigation? Right. And why was she in there? Yeah, and and, and they didn't listen to what she was saying. No. Like, come on. Alright. And how did y'all go in that basement? Yeah. But then, how did Felicia try to get away? Yeah, but and how <laughs> to go work for somebody else. Take care of <laughs> take somebody else's mother's money. Because that's what you're doing at the end with that wig on. Right. That was a good cute wig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Makai Brooks character in there. He didn't need wig. that wig. No, he didn't. No, no he, didn't. he just needed to be him. Yeah, I would have been okay. Okay. Would you wear lace pants? Oh hey. I wouldn't do that. Let me tell you what. I would have had a good time. You see him doing that today? You didn't get, wait, you messed up my privacy. Yeah. Coming in my yeah. time. What's going on inside this door? I don't know. But I'm just like. Hey, yo. Yo. <laughs> yeah. What's the problem? No, I was asking. Wait, Tibby. Tibby, I think she in the. That's know, soap, she, right? Yeah, yeah I don't know. What's that doing? What you got on Legos? Yeah, well, Look at Chase. Come here, Chase. Come here. Ooh, look at him. He don't like when you here because he <laughs> when I'm right here. Yeah, I'll smack him shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and then he grabbed the microphones. I'm like, why didn't you do this when Cal was here? He just, well, he did, no, he didn't. He did, he but he did. was just watching you. Mm -hmm. Talk. the same. Oh, but he, if he'll come in here, he'll look at my camera and go like this to the camera. And all this in there. But yeah, I, I really like the fall from grace. Yeah, of course it could have been better, but come on. It was a good cheesy about. type, yeah. Yeah, look what we were talking about. Okay. And to think that he actually sees that stuff and thinks it's Oscar worthy. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not even, he know it ain't Oscar worthy when you record stuff in five days. <laughs> he said it was better than five. Like, it's and not it's true. The wigs look like it's five days. Yeah. That courtroom, I ain't never seen no courtroom that small. And so somebody, when they seen the, when they seen the lyrics, what you call it, the script, Someone tweeted me and said, I've been on Tyler Perry Productions, I, you know, mm -hmm. behind the scenes or uh, extra. It's Tyler feeds them their lines because they don't have time. And they, like, they shoot from multiple angles. Like, they get everything done and boom, bang, bang. So they must be having like 15 hour days. You know, Tyler got all of them damn shows. But I will say this. I watched, now this is how, I don't know, but that show, The Pains. Now, I used to watch The House of Pains. But I watched The Pains on Hulu, and I sat there and I watched 17 episodes. Like, there's, like, there's stuff like that, like I like the show, it's not all dramatic, it got a little bit of, it got some drama, but it's like, this is Tyler Perry type of funny stuff, like, I like the NJK is in it, and I was like, I'm not mad at her character, like, but if you're looking for, like, acting, like, strong acting, then you need to go look for Ava DuVernay. If you like Tyler gonna, Perry, you're no, you're not going to find him with Tyler. And I think we have all come to accept that. And I think Tyler has accepted that. But Tyler has made money not just from movies but from plays as well. And people buying his DVDs to where he was able to build a 300 and something acre fucking 
movie life. Mm -hmm. You better do that, Tywin. Like, people might talk about your work and say all of this, but look at what you've done for so many people. And look at, you know, it's just, it's, I think it's just amazing what he's done. Mm -hmm. And he got everybody talking about a fall from grace. Right. Whether it's good or bad, you didn't like the wigs or not. You know, it's rare that I seen like a lot of people didn't say like I didn't like it. Mostly everybody was talking about the wigs and how dumb Grace was giving up all that money. Can you imagine yes. somebody taking all your money? Three hundred thousand. Well, maybe I might want to take it back to somebody too. If you're doing all these fucking bitches in my house, you just don't give a fuck. Like I'm just like I'm stuck. Maybe I wouldn't kill you, but I would have got you arrested. Right. Because how you just gonna take my money? <laughs> he know. took all. I'm like, and you got me fired from my job. Now I got to go to court. <laughs> no, he didn't just take all her money. He took all the money from the bank too. Yeah, she, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, that, that, yeah. <laughs> she, now she got to go to court for that, like, cause she was. I don't even think she went to court for the money that got taken. But you know, whatever. That's three hundred thousand dollars. Her ass would have been in jail. No, she wouldn't even be able to get fired from that job. She'd have been out that job in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Three hundred thousand dollars. You know how much people get arrested for for at these little banks if they catch you stealing? Now come on, three hundred thousand dollars. And if you're smart, you'll take that money and, and quit within that week. They better not be able to find you. Yeah. <laughs> three hundred thousand dollars. You know what I could do with that? I could do a lot. Yeah, but then yeah, I, I I like the fall from grace. Yeah, you got your little cheesy stuff, but it was a cute storyline, and um, I need something else to watch on. They must be Netflix. having a family meeting next door. I don't, I don't think I've had a family meeting. I bet you didn't see that that note on that refrigerator. Did you see it when you came here? No, I came. Oh, okay, well, when you go that stage, look at the refrigerator. If it's and coming. somebody already gave me some, but I need it. Yeah, that's it all. And and it's and it's from. I was like, oh. The main one who had one person. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I said, oh, okay. Yeah. I said, this is what I want. Because this is a new year and a new decade. You will be out on the street. <laughs> well, it came through. I said, well, I know that's right. <laughs> you have to I, if I had it my way, I'd be like that uh, social worker on Claudine. Yeah. And then. Oh, you don't want to do your, you don't know what you're supposed to do? <laughs> I'm going to call you all for you, okay? You want you haul or Ryder? Hmm. You Who are you fuck? talking, bitch? Because you're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, see if that's Chase. Come here. Where are you going with your toys? Huh? One time, he, he brought his toys in my room one by one. Only take one. You take one. You're going to bring one. Look. <laughs> You can only take one. Put the big one back. Just one. Alright, fuck it. Come on. Where you going? Bye bye. Oh, okay. He said bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye. So, yeah. Crazy thing yeah, so we got everybody. Alicia Keys, Beyonce, Oprah, Bad Boys, Wendy, Power, Impeachment. Oh, Impeachment. Wait, I thought you were talking about Hope. You fed your mom? What? You fed your mom? Not yet. I thought you said, did you find her? I'm about to say, where the fuck is she got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, wait a minute, Kevin. You ain't telling me that. No, because me and Mikael about to go get some food. Oh, you buying me something to eat, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, get some food from where? I don't know. I got to go to the market, actually. You always have to go to the market. Right. I told you. You're what? buying me something. Because last time, you. you didn't buy me my food. I paid for it myself. When we went and we ran into Ariel, yes, I did. I paid for my old food and you were supposed to buy it. No, but, but I, I said, come on. You was like, wait a minute. You got to pay. I said, oh. Yeah, that's right. But you got to pay the debt. Yeah. I gave you a break last time. <laughs> but you have to pay the debt. What's the word? I forgot. Listen, this, this is my thing with the impeachment. So right now, what's going on as of today, they're trying to introduce amendments to change some of the ruling. That's going That's on. Then this it's is not going to pay. Yeah, and, and they're taking two hours yeah. arguing back and forth. I understand where the Democrats are coming from. They got everything lined up, but the Republicans are like not in our house. We're not going right. forward. We're not, we not sending for it. Yeah, it's just like what, what the thing is the Democrats has great evidence against the president. And then they got more people that has been speaking up. The Republicans, they don't want to hear anything That's that right. will really have to force them to 
vote the president out. out. So they're saying, like, you should have had this witness, you should have had that witness. But the thing is, when they try to get these witnesses, the president blocked a lot of the witnesses. Mm -hmm. and, or he just said, you can't talk. He gagged them mm -hmm. and to tell him that you can't speak. So now we're going to go through, go through a couple days more. The fact that we're having a trial with no witnesses. Yeah, <laughs> a trial with no witnesses, that doesn't make any sense. So basically, they have to go just based off of what their what happened in the house and, the and with the senate there um what's the word i'm looking for they say like it's not enough proof to impeach nobody what, what y'all found is not enough for impeachment but they're not letting the president's men like john bolton right. and mick Mulvaney Mor mm -hmm. and all of them girls come up in there and testify because they know if they testify it will be a big thing and then they're going to have no choice but to impeach so the less witnesses we have, mm -hmm. the less, um, the less, uh, yeah, the less witness and the less testimony that we get, we could just say that we're we're going to um, not have the president impeached. So basically, that's what's going on, and we're going to be going through this for another week or so, and then the impeachment. Is, Donald Trump will not be impeached. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump basically will be. He's not exonerated, but no. he'll just. No, it's not that he won't be um, impeached because he, he is, is impeached. impeached. He won't I be mean, convicted. he won't be, uh, yeah, like, removed from yeah, the White House. Office. He won't be removed from the White <coughs> House. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. And they're, they're all playing the game. And, and this is, shit, y'all like, this is not a game to a lot of people. And what the president did, you know, the, I want everybody to pay attention to history. It's not, they, the Republicans are not going to look good when history looks back. On this day, but they don't give a fuck because they're not going to be nowhere near. But you know what? They're not going to be there. But you know, but when history talks about it, yeah. like they when they talk about Nixon and and what happened at that time, they talk about how good it, and everything yeah, was bipartisan. Yeah, but once the Republicans found out that this is what really was going down, they they, they ain't had no choice. choice, and they didn't want nothing to do with Nixon no more. They right. said you got to go. Yeah, they said that's how it should be. Yeah, and, and Reagan I and mean, Nixon got on TV and said, listen. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. Yeah, because it happened tomorrow. tomorrow. It happened today, tomorrow. He's like, at twelve, at twelve p.m., I'm out of here. And he got up on the elevator. Not, not on Friday. Not on uh, Monday. Tomorrow. On Friday. August Friday after the August fourth, nineteen seventy four. You know, I know that day, because I was just sitting on the corner of the block when that happened. Really? Yeah, that old. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to go, y'all, but listen, pay attention, but still pay attention to what's going on. Look at him talking about Mr. Celebrity, and he's yeah. DJ for all the celebrities. Who that? DJ Kid Rock. He DJs, he DJs. He ain't DJ for us no more. Oh, because you know his prices are really high. Yes, he went from, uh, mm -hmm. he like the barbers. Remember who is this? Mm -hmm. about the barbers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. This is America. Mm -hmm. This is America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can charge you what he want to charge you, right? <laughs> Wait. I also forgot. Listen, we'll probably talk about Bernie and what's going on with Bernie and Elizabeth on the podcast. Cause I really want to talk about that. Uh, a woman can't be president, and then they just go and add it on that thing. We ain't got a chance to get to none of that stuff. Nitty gritty stuff, right? Yeah, but it's 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 the, the caucus. Iowa caucus in two weeks. We're gonna get a glimpse into how America thinks after they vote. Y'all all be good. What's up, D'Angelo? We will talk to y'all. This here. Thursday, we'll, this Friday, you'll get a video and a podcast, so be on the lookout for that. And if you haven't listened to this week's podcast or any of the other podcasts, make sure that y'all check them out. We're going. Y'all have a good night. A good night. Peace. Okay, let's go now to the market.